right out the gate, I'm gonna answer the question with a resounding no. And I don't think it ever will. However, the truth is more nuanced than that, and not in the ways you might think. Before we start, let me just say a few things. I know we have been discussing a lot of AI and AI-powered tools lately, and we understand why people might feel a little bit frustrated by that. I think this is due to the rising popularity of AI-powered tools and services. Because frankly, everyone is trying to make their tools kind of be powered by AI or use AI to a certain extent. And I'm sure this will simmer down as soon as we hit the status quo. Also, we have a ton of content in the works and a lot of new projects that we're gonna announce in the right time. But don't hold your breath because it may take a while. We appreciate your continued support and don't hesitate to leave a comment about your thoughts about the topic and what you wanna see in the future. Now let's talk about the current state of AI. As you may have seen the last couple of weeks with the announcement of OpenAI Sora, where you can basically create believable videos with just a few words and people are understandably going crazy. Because some of the stuff AI can pull off sounds crazy to think about, and it sounded ridiculous just a few months ago. And the fact that AI can understand depth, reflections, lighting, camera movements, how light interacts with different materials, and on top of that, how smooth the interpolation is from one frame to another is just impressive. While not perfect, it looks promising and alarming depending on where you stand. And for me, it is both. I feel like it is promising, but it is absolutely terrifying. Most people were impressed by what this AI was able to achieve, and it is even more crazy to think about the fact that this is just the beginning. On the other hand, some people rightfully so, myself included, are thinking about what the AI might end up in the future. We have already reviewed some 3D generative AI on this channel. However, I think the technology isn't there yet, especially the one that is gonna replace artists. And in my opinion, if you ask me, it never will. While AI can indeed speed up workflows and can absolutely alleviate some of the boring tasks from a 3D artist's perspective, which to be honest, who want to sit down for hours working on UVs or maybe doing manual retopology for 3D characters. I know a lot of people who would rather do that with a click of a button instead of going through these long and tedious processes. Now, how good of a job an AI would do? For instance, in the near future, for architecture design and archivist remedial tasks, they will be, I think, obliterated. We've already seen Adobe Firefly, Midjourney, and even Google's new image editing software, so correcting pictures in Photoshop will be as simple as describing what you want in a prompt. This will include photo creation, correcting, in addition to adding or removing subjects, and so on and so forth. But I still believe there has to be an artist behind the screen to make these images, which is really important to consider. Another thing that might impact architectural visualization is generative AI and all the nerve and its derivatives, basically AI-powered photo scanning, which allows you to create 3D models just based on a few photos. From that, you can build complete scenes or create videos. So instead of creating models from scratch, you might have to learn how to do 3D scanning for your models, in addition to other stuff, of course. And as I said before, at a certain point, the hype will dumb down, and this will become part of our daily lives. And yes, of course it's gonna escalate, and it will get more and more integrated in different facets of the industry. I mean, you can already see it now by just the amount of tools, services, and companies trying to push this AI-powered tag on everything. So you're gonna see it on our cameras, cars, phones, heck, maybe even washing machines. Alright, maybe this is too far, but definitely when it comes to design software. One of the many ways that AI can actually help 3D artists and artists in general is for example with the ease at which they can iterate through countless ideas, concepts, and designs. For example, easily generated materials, textures, and even assets, which I'm not a big fan of, because it kind of takes creativity from the process. On the other hand, it gives you the freedom to create more and saves you a ton of time in the process. Let's take for instance D5 Render, one of the best rendering software for architectural visualization. We already talked about D5 a while back, 
and I was personally surprised by its ability to achieve a high image fidelity right out of the box. But with this new 2.6 release, they introduced a ton of new features, including some real life enhancing AI tools, such as but not limited to AI atmosphere match and AI generated material texture maps, as well as a UV randomizer, multimedia material transparency, not to mention the seamless integration with Macs and all the major software through D5 Live Sync, in addition to other stuff. But what I like even more with this version is the new AI generated texture map. You know what, sometimes you find a really good texture, but it is only the diffuse map and no other secondary maps. Well, D5 can help you generate all those secondary maps, which to be honest, can add so much more depth to the materials. All you need to do is import the color map and hit the AI button at the top and watch that the software fills all the required maps for you. There is also AI atmosphere match, which allows you to copy any lighting and color information from any image and apply it to your scene. You can simply use this button on the top right corner under the environment tab and upload an image that you like. Hit generate and the lighting in your scene will change to match the vibes of the selected image. The ability to procedurally generate vibes is another powerful feature that allows you to add vibes to your ArcVis scenes simply by placing an emitter object next to any wall or surface that you want to pick. Then select one of the vine presets available, hit generate, and a very realistic climbing vine effect will be applied to your surface with a ton of customizable settings and random options for regeneration for different variations. This release of D5 added 250 plus items to their extensive library, which includes high quality SDRIs for different use cases in addition to detailed and animated characters, not to mention the hundreds upon hundreds of assets already available in the library. In addition to the new multimedia material transparency, a new life sync with Max, including camera animations, and this is can be applied to Cinema 4D as well. There is also a UV randomizer, which allows you to break the uniformity of your textures with just a flip of a button, and a ton more that we can't include in this video. So I invite you to check out the full video on DeFi's main channel to see the detailed breakdown of each feature. And all the links will be down in the description. So generally speaking, I think what will happen in our industry, especially in the next few years, is that it's gonna get even better. I'm saying this because I'm an optimist and I think the bar of entry will be even lower and a few things will shift around. So some of these changes will include probably getting used to new workflows or incorporating some new tools, but I am a believer in the creative field and I still believe it is one of the most future-proof fields out there. But that was just food for thought and I would love to hear your thoughts as well. So what do you think about the future of AI in ArcVis and what 3D design in general is gonna be like in the near and distant future? Thank you guys for watching and thanks for D5 for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.